Salachia, sorry about that. They say you've got good um, discernment or you know the scriptures well. Well, you know, that doesn't mean you're an abomination in the sight of the Heavenly Father. But generally what's going to be praised among men is idolatry, adultery, murderous behavior, disrespect. You know, these are things that, you know, being a quote-unquote savage, these are things that are promoted, that are pushed out. You know, these are the things that get you the clicks, the views. You know, so what's, what's adored, what's loved off by the world is hated by the Heavenly Father. It doesn't mean someone in the world can't recognize, you know, a certain thing. And say, wow, you know, you're really bringing it out. You know, I can't really argue against that point. Because that's also in the scripture that uh, yeah, you'll be given a tongue. That you, your adversaries I and mean, your enemies, them that are against you, won't be able to gainsay nor resist. You know, so there's balance to that. But all of that, you know, goes around to say it starts with faith. And that is how we're able to get, you know, that crown of life. That's how we're able to get the um, coronum, uh, what do you say, coronum vitae, or vitae, you're right, the vital, the vitality, yeah, the vitality comes from what, right, the flesh and blood profit of nothing, but it's the words, right, the words, which goes back to the words of the Heavenly Father, so when we're reading these red letters, you know, these are Yahawashai's words, so the words, the word made flesh spoke these words, right, to the seven churches, and that represents the elect. You know, I'm sort of all over the place, but the you know, Lord will it be edifying. So we have to be faithful unto death. You know, and it's written some of the elect will have to face a death. You know, not all, not all, not all. It says we shall not all sleep, but some sorry, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Meaning them that perish, you know, the believers that perish will come back or they're re they're sleeping. Right? So it's about that in First Thessalonians the fourth chapter. Right, so if you if you die in the faith of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and you're one of the elect, you'll be coming back, you know, with a new body. That's what First Corinthians 15 touched on the new body, right? The upgrade, the spiritual, the physical, right? The software and hardware updates, right? Obviously, it's not literal, but that's a, an analogy we can use, right? Because now, as I said earlier, we're not keeping the works of the Lord perfectly. But when we have these new bodies, we'll be physically incapable of sinning. Right? So these are the things to be meditating on to keep us on the right track. So we're able to obtain that crown of life. Right? And it's not too scripture heavy, you know, but I'm paraphrasing and making reference to. So, you know, take notes, make sure you're going back and looking up these scriptures, getting into the words. You know, this is part of it. This is part of staying on track. Right, not getting distracted. It's referred to as a race course. I right, know you not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that you may obtain. So this thing is a, you know, it's not a competition as in your envy and then your evil iron, but you have to iron sharpen the iron. You know, you have to be on point. You have to keep growing in this thing. You can't be stagnant. Right, it's all about growth at, at, at a reasonable pace. Not so much that you drown, and not too little that you don't grow. You know. So Revelation 3 and 10 says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them which dwell upon the earth. Right? So everyone is going to be tested. And this is in reference to what? The charagma. Okay? The M-O-T-B. Revelation 13, 16. You know, and you've seen a lot of this. These tech advancements. Or the infrastructure CBDCs. These are things to be watching out for. And we're going to be positioned by them that are, you know, opposed to as, you know, wicked, as evil, as wanting to stop all this, you know, these alleged benefits that come with it. And we're going to be, you know, looked upon, looked down upon, or looked down on, down upon, doesn't really make sense. Looked down on, you know, for saying, well, this is not, you know, this is the device of Hashatan. Right, this is a device of the enemy, the adversary, and it's, and it's adverse to all people. <laughs> you know, it's adverse to all people as much as we speak on the judgment you know, of, of all nations. Well, the Lord's going to set up a kingdom that all nations will benefit from. Right? It's written, you know, all nations will be blessed. Well, there's many nations like that. There's many two nations in Israel, or twelve, if you want to take it like that. But generally, 
you know they everyone on earth you know will benefit from it they're not going to be blessed as in a rulership you know but they are going to be they're going to be living in a rejuvenated earth you know new clean air you know no big pollutants you know, going into the environment these are the sort of things that are a messianic kingdom you know promise a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness you know, heaven and earth is symbolic for rulership but that means the the elements will be set back you know you're not going to have a thing where you have you know smog you're stepping outside your your house and you, you're gasping for air you're struggling for it you know you're not going to have a situation like that you're going to have a, a, a renewed cleaned earth right so these are all the things or these are some of the things you know to look forward to again to keep us on track it's written wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation right so making sure you're girded in the right way you're taking comfort from the right things right because there's a crown and you, you don't want to lose it right so what does it say keep hold that fast which thou hast in fact it's there revelation 3 and 11 behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown so you don't want to be put in a position you know no one can take your crown literally you'd be of the elect from the foundation or you'd be you know elected to be destroyed you know or any you know alternate route whether you win or you lose the heavenly father's in control you know so no one can take your crown but you can have the illusion of i've got it i've got it i've got it and then you get caught up right you entangle yourselves in the affairs of this life or however it goes about and you can end up losing you know so don't, if you snooze you lose you have to stay on track you can't get distracted right so hold that fast which thou hast and it's it's easier than you